Hi, this is Brian Golden. This is a video of our two trips around Manhattan by canoe in 2010 and 2011. We started off from the Englewood Cliffs picnic area on the New Jersey side of the Hudson River. That's where we put in our canoe. We then traveled down the Hudson River out toward Governor's Island and the Statue of Liberty. Then we went around up the East River past Roosevelt Island into the Harlem River back up around all the way through the end of the Harlem River where we came back into the Hudson and then went back across to the Englewood Cliffs picnic area where we started. Here's our boat all set up and ready to go. We had a 17-foot Grumman aluminum canoe, a 2.5 horsepower Yamaha engine, the total distance traveled 31 miles, the time on the water traveling was 5 hours. Here we are heading out on the water. We're going to be looking toward the George Washington Bridge. At this point, we're two miles north of the George Washington Bridge, looking south right now on the Hudson River. Here's the Spitendival Railroad Bridge at the northern tip of Manhattan. Now we're by the Inwood section, still at the northern tip of Manhattan. And this gives you a feel for how Manhattan used to look before it was developed. Here we are again heading toward the George Washington Bridge. And underneath the George Washington Bridge, there's a little red lighthouse that most people aren't aware of. Now we're going past the George Washington Bridge, looking south down toward southern Manhattan on the left and Jersey on the right side. This is a North River water treatment plant that uh, caught fire in 2011, actually just a few weeks after we had gone past it. We're now looking at the west side of Manhattan, the West Side Drive, Henry Hudson Parkway, along with the Hudson River Greenway. Here we're looking toward the right at the New Jersey side of the Hudson River. Now we're about to arrive at the 79th Street Boat Basin, uh, which is a year-round marina on the Hudson. This is where we would stop to eat lunch. This boat actually was from France and was tied up uh, moored out in the Hudson River. We're approaching the docks. And you'll notice some of these blockades are designed in case there's an errant boat or barge to keep it from running into the uh, piers. Here we are at the 79th Street Boat Basin, looking at the dinghy dock as well as the many boats that are tied up here. Many of these boats actually are uh, year-round uh, habitat for many of the people. Here's our canoe again. We're leaving the 79th Street Boat Basin, heading south. Our trip was timed to make sure we had the current going with us the whole way. So we had the receding tide going out and the tide coming in as we went up the uh, East River and the Harlem River. Here we're coming up onto the uh, Intrepid Sea and Air Museum, looking at the Concord, which is uh, on a pier right next to the ship. There's the Intrepid on the right. Here's one of the many uh, circle line boats that we passed. And here's a New York waterway taxi. We always wondered uh, how many of the people were actually taking pictures of us uh, being tourists on those boats. Looking south now, here's the Empire State Building in the distance. If you notice, here's a helicopter taking off. Lots of helicopter activity, tourists uh, flying around as we left. Here are two old restored fire boats. This is the uh, Chelsea Piers. This is actually a uh, golf driving range right on one of the piers. This looked like a dinner cruise. It appeared to be under the glass a, uh, a nice floating restaurant. Again, looking at the uh, New Jersey side of the Hudson River. Here we're coming down toward the southern Manhattan the uh, world uh, about even with the old World Trade Center site. This is North Cove Marina, Battery Park. Now we're heading down toward the southern tip of Manhattan, looking straight at Governor's Island. There's statue, the Statue of Liberty in the distance, the New Jersey side. And there's the Statue of Liberty again.
There we are going toward Governor's Island, Statue of Liberty on our right, and a schooner approaching it. It's a Staten Island Ferry. As you can see, the water there was, was rather choppy when we were there. And here we are looking at Governor's Island on the right, and a nice shot of the southern tip of Manhattan on the right, and New Jersey on the left. Here you can see some of the waves splashing against the break wall on uh, Governor's Island. We've just left Governor's Island. We're now heading up the East River. You can see the Brooklyn Bridge in the distance. East side of the southern tip of Manhattan. And there's another one of the New York Waterway Ferries, Brooklyn Bridge in the distance. And on the uh, east side of Manhattan as well, lots of helicopter activity. Here we go, the South Street Seaport from the water's view. You can see many of the old ships there as well as their pier. The uh, Brooklyn Bridge from underneath and the Manhattan Bridge which is just upriver from the Brooklyn Bridge. Right now we're on the East River. Lots of barge traffic. This was a uh, flotilla of I think uh, seven or eight barges all lashed together being pushed by the tugboat. Here's one of the uh, uh, water taxis going underneath the Williamsburg Bridge. Empire State Building in the distance. And here's the United Nations. As we move up the East River, here's another circle line boat. And now we're coming up to Hallett's Cove, which is actually a beach in Queens at the northern tip of Roosevelt Island. And this is our stopping off point before we head back out into the Harlem River, uh, passing through Hell Gate. And there we're looking toward the Harlem River, Hell Gate section, and some more of the beach in Hallett's Cove. There's a what is view of the Triborough Bridge. We're now moving through the Hellgate area. This is where the East River turns into um, the route going to Long Island Sound, and the Harlem River breaks off going uh, up to the northern tip of Manhattan. And here's Hellgate. Now we're on the Harlem River, traveling north, looking at the uh, FDR Drive. This is the Willis Avenue Bridge. It's been worked on for a number of years now. There are some of the cranes that are in place to work on it. All of the bridges on the uh, Harlem River uh, would rotate or lift up to accommodate large boat traffic. And here underneath we can see some of the gearing mechanisms. This is a Park Avenue uh, Railroad Bridge, which is used by all of the MTA trains coming into and leaving Manhattan. Continuing up the Harlem River, this is now the Peter J. Sharp Boathouse, which is a uh, used for the crewing boats, and this is actually built on a floating barge. Here we have one of the uh, Metro North trains on the east side of the Harlem River. We're almost done with our journey. You can see in the distance the bridge for the Henry Hudson Parkway. And now we're looking at a Circle Line boat waiting for the Spite and Dival Railroad Bridge to open so we can pass through. And here we're going through the same opening. That's the railroad bridge behind us as we head back toward uh, Englewood Cliffs Picnic Area where we started from. 
And here we are back on the beach. Hope you enjoy the video. Enjoy some photos of our trip by Sally Domerico.